guys, so my name is Julia and welcome to today's Power Yoga Flow class. We're going to be working on warming up and strengthening the entire body whilst also connecting breath to movement. So let's get started in a nice hip opener in a wide-legged child's pose. So you can bring your knees as wide as a mat, sit your butt to your heels and then just walk the hands out in front of you. We're going to just ground down here this morning or today whenever you're taking this class. Let the forehead really rest on the mat. Maybe you want to move your head side to side, massaging the forehead and the temples. Or maybe you just focus on really pulling down, letting the hips drop to the heels, letting the torso fall between the thighs. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Filling up the belly, letting the belly button drop towards the mat. And then exhaling, sighing out the mouth. One more like this. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh out the mouth. Take a moment to maybe set an intention for the class or your day ahead. Maybe it's to bring more strength into everything that you do, not just on the mat. And whatever it is, take a moment to internalize this intention before we begin. And then slowly walking the hands over to the right side, placing the left palm on top of the right and just dropping your forehead back down, feeling the stretch along the left side body really lengthening those left fingertips to the right side and dropping that left hip down. Inhaling to lengthen and exhaling to drop. And then walking through the center, coming over to the other side, right palm this time on top of the left, dropping that right hip down and just breathing deeply, getting a nice side stretch on the right side now. Connecting with the breath, bringing your deep ujjayi breathing in now. And then slowly coming through center, lifting the head, neck and shoulders up and finding your way into a tabletop position. So let's tuck the toes under and we're going to just start by rocking back and forth. So really rocking back, putting the weight on the heels and feeling that nice stretch along the soles of the feet waking the feet up, and then as you rock forward, maybe making some circles with the wrists, warming up the wrists and the hands, and then just taking this in a kind of free flow, whatever feels good for you. Maybe you want to focus on the wrists, do a little bit of both, or stretch out the feet more. Just take a moment here before we begin to really just warm the body up, get into the body, get into the breath. Maybe you want to invert your fingers so they're facing you and then rocking back and forth, stretching out the forearms this time. Breathing deeply. And then slowly turning those hands back forward again, tuck the toes under and then push the hips up into your first downward dog. So bend on one knee at a time, shake the head out. You can nod the head yes and no, making sure there's no tension held here and really dropping those shoulders from the ears. And as it's our first downward dog, remember to just bend your knees as generously as you need to. There's no need to push so hard. At the beginning, just allow your spine to lengthen, pushing through the fingers, catching your breath, and then maybe dropping one heel down at a time and feeling that nice deep stretch along the back of the legs. And then slowly, when you're ready, coming back to center in your downward dog. And let's just open up the hips for a moment. So bring the left foot into the middle of the mat, bring that right leg out behind us, and then bend the knee and start making some circles with the knee as if you're trying to draw something in the ceiling in one direction and the other. Breathing into the hips here, pushing through both hands evenly. And then slowly straightening out that leg behind you 
and then see if you can bring your right knee to your right elbow. Warming up the core, bringing that left, the right leg back and then knee to nose. And bringing it back and then going across the body and back. Let's do this one more time again. So right knee, right elbow and back. Just feeling the shoulders warm up, knee to nose and back. And then knee to left elbow and back. And then just shift that right foot in between the two hands at the top of the mat and find yourself up into a high lunge. So dropping the shoulders from the ears, feeling the body already warmed up a little bit. We're just going to open up the arms, really open the chest and see if you can come back a little bit in a nice back bend and then bringing the arms up and then bringing the arms behind you and up. Now arms coming back up, fingertips facing towards the ceiling and we're just going to bend that left knee and straighten. Bending, warming up the lower body now and straighten, bend, straighten and two more. Last one and then back to your high lunge. We're going to come into eagle arms here. So bringing the arms out to either side and this time bringing the left arm underneath the right bending at the elbows and then maybe you can also take that second turn around so the palms are touching and then as you inhale lengthen those arms away from the body and as you exhale crunch in so the elbows come in towards the body and then inhale lengthen getting a nice crunch here getting a shoulder stretch exhale feeling that right thigh really working hard here and exhale and inhale, lengthen, and last one, and lengthen, and then release those arms, bringing the hands down to frame the foot, and stepping back into a high plank here. So let's hold here for a moment, really pushing through all ten fingers, kicking those heels to the back of the mat, feeling the shoulder blades working to push your away, also from the mat, feeling strong. And then bringing those toes to touch, and we'll just try and bend the knees down, hovering off the mat, and straighten the legs. Bending, and straighten. Three more. Remembering to breathe, and straighten. Last one, and straighten, and then push those hips back down, facing dog. Pedaling out the feet, maybe shaking the head, Seeing how that right leg feels in comparison to the left. Let's take it to the other side now and even it out. So bringing that right foot into the middle of the mat, bringing that left leg out behind us and then bending that left knee and opening the hip. And just taking those circles in both directions on this side. And always remembering to reverse, doing both ways, making those nice circles in the air. And before we come back to centre, so bringing that left leg out straight behind you and let's take those crunches. So left knee, left elbow and back. Left knee to nose and straighten out behind you. Left knee across the body to the right and back and one more time. Left to left and left to nose. And last one, you can do it and back and then bringing that foot in between the hands at the top of the mat and finding your way back into that high lunge. Whew. So catching your breath let's just take those arm circles again and bringing the arms behind you opening the chest gazing up and forward and exhale behind and forward. Arms coming up by the ears shoulders dropping and let's take those lunge dips so right knee down and up, four more. Gazing forward, try to smile, and down, and down. And now staying in our high lunge, let's take the eagle arms on the opposite side now. So the arms come out to the side, this time right arm goes under left, bending at the elbows, and then maybe if your palms can touch, making the palms touch. And as you inhale, lengthen those shoulders away from you. And as you exhale, bringing that Elbows into the body, crunching here. Inhale to lengthen. 
Exhale, elbows into the body. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale in. Inhale, lengthen last time. Exhale in. And then release those arms, bringing the hands to frame the foot. Step back to your plank. And this time we'll take some toe taps. So again, as always, stay strong in the shoulders. And then just tapping the right toes to the side and the left. Just alternating here for a few breaths. Really working the sides of the abs, the lower abs. Also the shoulders are getting hit right now. It's full body experience. And one more on each side. And release those knees down onto the mat. Sit the hips back. Good job. Enjoy a nice child's pose. So if your shoulders are needing a little bit of rest, you can also bring the arms behind you now. Fingers touching the toes. Inhale in. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now we won't stay here for so long, so bring the hands back out in front of you. Lift the head up and tuck the toes under, hips coming back down, facing dog. And now walk those feet up to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Let them into ragdoll pose for a moment. So bend the knees generously, let the head drop, grab each elbow with each hand and just swing from side to side. Let the head completely hang, so make sure you're not holding it up here. This is time for your neck and your head to get a little bit of relaxation. Think that your neck is holding your head all day long. It's pretty heavy, so let it drop, let it hang. Feel your shoulders relaxing after all of those planks. And then slowly tucking the chin in towards the chest and rolling your way up to standing. And then rolling the shoulders down the back a few times. Now, finding our way into Tadasana. Palms facing forward. And coming back to that intention, you can bring your hands to heart center as you just breathe in your intention for the day again. Exhale. And then bringing those feet close together again. Let's keep going. So bringing the arms up by the ears and we want to sit back into our chair pose. So really thinking as if you were sitting on a chair now. And then lifting the toes, making sure there's no weight on them. Everything is going towards the heels. Feeling the arms really powerful by the ears. Holding here. You've got this. And then lifting the right foot off the mat and holding here in this nice flamingo pose. Keep low in the left leg. Three, two, and one. Swap sides. Now the left leg comes up. Really pushing those thighs together to get that activation going. Makes it easier to stay stable. And for three, two, and one, bring both feet down, sit down even lower, even lower, even lower, and now we just come to seated on the mat. Whew, good job. You can bring the feet down onto the mat and we'll just wind, windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Opening the hips, catching our breath. Hmm. And then just bringing the hands behind you so the fingers are facing towards the body, planting those feet on the mat. And we just lift the hips up and lower. Lifting up and lower. Two more. And lower. And up and lower. And now you guessed it, coming to core boat pose. So lifting the feet off the mat. Finding your balance, really resting on the tailbone here as we let the toes come towards the nose and the hands come out by the side. And then we'll just take some toe taps here. So right toe and left, right and left, right and left. Two more on each side, staying strong in your foundation, strong in the core. And then we come forward, crossing at the ankles Plant those hands on the mat and step back. Downward facing dog. Good job here. So pedaling out the feet, shaking the head again, just resetting. Before we bring the right foot into the middle of the mat again, left leg goes out behind us and then bring the knee towards the nose again. 
and back, one more time, and back, and then left foot in between the hands at the top of the mat, windshield, windshield wiper your hands, so you're coming into warrior two, and sinking low in your warrior two. So try to make sure that that left knee is coming towards the outside of the foot, so the pinky toe side, and then we'll just strengthen that front glute by inhaling, straightening the leg, straightening the arms, touching the palms above the head, and exhale, coming deep. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deep. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, staying deep in your warrior two, and just flipping that front palm, coming into reverse warrior. Staying nice, deep and bent in that left leg. Inhale. And exhale, windmilling the hands down to the mat, step back to plank and just holding here for five, for four, yes I'm going slowly, for three, for two, and one. Releasing the knees down the mat. Now staying in your plank position in the upper body, we're going to do some push-ups here. So staying in that strong, long line from the tailbone to the crown of the head, and then just shifting your weight forward slightly. We're going to bend the elbows in towards the body, and push back up. We'll do nine more, so keep going. Nine, going at your own pace. Eight, seven, six, really working for those chaturangas. Four, three, two, and one. Whew, good job. Tuck the toes under, push back down, facing dog. Oh, those chaturanga push-ups can be super hard, but it's so good to build strength. Breathing here. Let's get off those shoulders for left foot in the middle of the mat. Bring the right leg out behind us and let's do those knee to nose crunches again. So knee to nose. And back. Knee to nose. And back. And then right foot comes in between the hands at the top of the mat. Bring those arms up by the ears and then just slowly open to warrior two. I'm gonna turn around so I'm still facing you. So bend generously in that right leg. Really open the arms out, shoulder height, dropping the shoulders down the back. Stay nice and deep in that warrior two for a moment. Finding your strength, finding your balance. And then bringing the hands up overhead, straightening that front leg. Exhale, coming deeper back into your warrior two. Inhale up and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one, inhale and exhale. Stay deep in that warrior two. And now tilting that front palm, coming into your reverse warrior here. Inhaling, lengthening those fingers away from the body. Exhaling, bending deep into that leg. And then slowly windmilling the hands down. I'll meet you in a plank position. And let's lower the knees down. We'll just take five more Chaturanga push-ups to flatten out the feet, staying strong in your upper body, pushing the shoulders forward and then just bending. And up, down, and up, down. Last time, and coming back, child's pose. So wiggling the hips from side to side, catching your breath. And let's wind down from here. You've done such a good job so far. Staying where you are in child's pose and bringing the left arm underneath the right armpit. Let's stretch those shoulders out, dropping the left ear down to the mat. Feeling that nice stretch along the left shoulder blade. We did quite a lot in downward dog, in our planks, in our chaturanga push-ups. Let's show the body some love now. And then swapping sides, right arm comes under left, right ear down, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Coming back through centre, slowly peeling the body up, and then just staying where you are, bring the hands behind you and just opening up the chest, so you can push the chest forward. Maybe you also lift the hips. 
wherever you are, breathing deeply, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, coming back up to seated, and then just staying in this nice seated position, you can tuck the toes under if you'd like to still get a nice challenge and stretch out the soles of the feet, otherwise just plant your hands on the um, thighs, that's what they are, thighs, <laughs> and then rolling the shoulders down the back, closing your eyes for a moment. And let's come back to that intention that we set at the beginning of the class. See how you feel about it now. Maybe you feel more resilient, feel more at peace with your decision. And then bringing those hands together at heart centre, opening the eyes and thanking yourself for joining me on the mat today. I'm so proud of you and I will see you next time.